What's up, people? It's Belief, and today we're going to be doing a comparison between the Krig 6 and the Farah 83. They did just do a nerf on the Far 83 with the base recoil and a few of the barrels for the Cold War rifles. But let's go ahead and take a look at the nerf, and then we'll talk about the comparison, and then I'll give you guys the builds for the Krig 6 and the Farah that I recommend. So in the patch notes, they nerf the base recoil for the Far 83 and the C58. These guns are freaking beaming. I'm not gonna lie. Like the Far 83 was really good, but a lot of people were sleeping on the C58 and I was beaming a lot of people with that gun too. But they end up slightly nerfing the base recoil. So this is without any attachments. They also nerf all the barrels here. But the interesting thing is they said they nerfed the Ranger barrel. But for the far is also called the liberator barrel but it's in the same spot uh but you see here they're actually doing like task force slash spesnaz barrel and slash the cmv so these are just the different types of barrels in the same section in i guess like the barrel area so i'm kind of confused if the liberator is also included in here but as you guys can see they did nerf it okay so possibly the ranger and the liberator is nerfed but they just didn't put it here but me personally, I always ran the Liberator Barrel on the Farah instead of the Task Force just for the faster ADS speed. I know a lot of people like running the Spesnaz RPK Barrel or the last barrel on the Farah, but they did nerf essentially everything by about 5%. The only thing that is a little bit different is the Reinforced Heavy. They switched it from 7.5% to 5% for both vertical and horizontal recoil. So now the Farah and the C58 both are gonna be a little bit harder to control when it comes to the recoil, but I believe it's not gonna handicap it too hard. You're just not gonna be able to beam people across the map with the Farah as well as pre-patch. You're still gonna be able to beam people pretty far away, but it's gonna definitely take a little bit more skill. So if we take a look at the TTK comparison chart here, thanks to True Game Data, this is where I'm doing it on his website, throwing it through his software and all his stuff. But as you can see, the Farah does have a faster time to kill than the Krieg 6, but the Krieg 6 picks it up in the further ranges around 30 to 55, 58 like, meters. And what's also really important is because of that nerf for the Far 83, right, the recoil nerf, it's going to be harder to hit those shots further away. So you're actually going to be kind of fighting within the, the 25 to 58 meters anyways. So this is where I think the Krieg 6 is actually going to shine more than the Fara. Me personally, I always liked using the Krieg 6 a little bit more than the Fara anyways. But now I feel like the Krieg 6 is definitely going to be a little bit more of a viable option for those more aggressive players because you're going to be fighting within this range, right? Compared to the Fara, usually you end up beaming someone like 80 meters away. I've done it multiple times and you could like shoot people from the Gulag. But now the Krieg 6 is looking a pretty juicy, boys. And they didn't nerf the base stats for the Krieg 6. They end up nerfing, like I said, the takedown, the ranger, and all this other stuff. That means the Krieg 6 should have better recoil control than the Farah 83. So this means that you'll be able to hit your shots more often with the Krieg 6 than the Farah. The recoil is not that bad. It's only going to take a little bit more time to learn how to use the Farah correctly to control that recoil. But you will be missing some shots more now than before. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the base stats comparison. So as you guys can see, the Krieg 6 on the left here has a headshot multiplier of 45 and a chest shot of 33, while the Farah has a headshot of 40 and a chest shot of 31. So this means that technically speaking, the damage per mag for the Krieg 6 is higher than the Farah, so you could possibly get more knocks with the Krieg 6 than the Farah. Um, the only issue is the Farah is a lot more forgiving because the fire rate is at 790 RPMs compared to the Krieg 6 with a 652 rounds per minute. So you got to make sure you have really good accuracy with the Krieg 6 compared to the Farah, but you can take more people down. And I personally like the higher headshot multiplier on the Krieg 6 because even though, you know, like the Farah is, does have faster TTK, but I feel like because it has a higher headshot multiplier on the Krieg, I, I net knock people a lot faster. So that's just my opinion. I think the Krieg 6 is better than the Farah pre-nerf. And I think post-nerf, you're definitely going to see more Krieg 6 than the Farah. 
just because it's gonna be a lot easier to use. And just like I said earlier, within 30 to 50 meters, most of your engagements are gonna be in that area as with an assault rifle. So you're gonna definitely see the Krig 6 shine more than the Farah. So let's go ahead and take a look at my builds for the Krig 6 and the Farah. All right, so for the Farah, we are running the GRE suppressor, Spaznaz grip, 60 round fast mag, and the three times optic. So the reason why I'm running the 60 round fast mag is just because there's actually a big difference when you're reloading with the 60 rounds compared to the fast mag. And there's also a slower ADS with the 60 round fast mag, but I'm not that worried about it because the FAR is supposed to be that long range assault rifle. So I'm not too worried about ADSing as fast as I can because they are a little bit further down. And then here, the important part with the barrel here is they did nerf the Spaznaz, but like I said, right, the Liberator barrel, they said they nerfed the Ranger barrel. For the other guns, the Ranger barrel is in this section. So I'm assuming that this is possibly nerfed, but I've always ran the Liberator anyways. And the reason why I ran the Liberator was because I am running the fast mag. I want a little bit faster ADS speed. So I'm running this and also pre nerf. The Liberator was fine already. Like, I don't think you needed more recoil control with the Spesnaz unless you, you like couldn't really control recoil. But now I, I definitely recommend the Liberator just because they nerfed the Spesnaz and they didn't specify if they nerfed the Liberator or not. We'll have to wait later on to see if people do some testing, like if JGod or True Game Data do more testing to see if they actually nerf the Liberator barrel as well. I think the Liberator still feels pretty good. You guys go ahead and give it a try. Let me know in the comments. I still need to try out and really see if the Liberator feels different because I haven't run that many games with it yet. But... This is my build for the Farah 83. Let's go ahead and look at the Krig 6. And like I said, the Krig 6, this is the bad boy that I think people are gonna definitely start hopping on because they're gonna start realizing how good this is, right? We're gonna be running the agency suppressor, the field agent grip, the 60 round mags, and the three times. So the reason why we're running the 60 round mags instead of the fast mags is because for some reason, the 60 rounds actually reloads a lot faster than the Farah. So that's why I'm running the 60 rounds instead of the fast mags of the 60 rounds. And then let's go ahead and look at the barrels. So like I said, they nerf this barrel just a little bit, but for sure, 100% they nerf the Ranger barrel. So this is kind of confusing, right? Because they say they nerf the Ranger, but you don't know if it's the Liberator. But me personally, I ran the mil spec barrel. And I mean, there's essentially no recoil in this gun already. So by them nerfing that little 5% or whatever, I don't think it's gonna affect the Krig 6 that much. But if it is, and you guys notice that it's a little bit different, I say just go back to the Ranger and you can try that out. But for sure, I'm telling you guys, man, the Krieg 6, I feel like it's going to be the next main assault rifle for everyone to start using just because of that nice headshot multiplier and also that engagement range of where the Krieg 6 beats the Farah is within that 35 to 59, 58 meters where you're most likely going to be engaging with an assault rifle. So that's just my opinions. I think the Krig 6 is going to be a great assault rifle now after the Farah got a slight nerf. The Farah will still be a very competitive and great gun to be using. I'm not saying it's trash now. It's just going to take a little bit more skill to control that recoil and getting used to it once again. So if you guys found value in this video, do me a favor, smash that like button. I do have a video on each of these weapons here. I'll go ahead and link them in the description down below. You guys could check it out. That Farah, my boy had a nice, nice, I mean, nice clutch with the Farah at the end circle there. And then I have a nice clip with the Creek 6 in that video as well. So go ahead and check those two videos out if you guys want to see how good these guns are. And then go ahead and comment down below if you think it is the Creek 6 time to shine because I definitely do. And then go ahead and subscribe if you guys want to see more of my content i make warzone content mainly for now very excited for battle 6 i'm not gonna lie i'll see you guys next time good luck in warzone a peace